Yeah, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name's uh, David Jones and my date of birth is 12th of August uh, 1965. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's a bad habit, I know. Um, and, and because of that, I'm coughing a lot more recently and I'm feeling under the weather, you know. Well, I've been coughing for three or four days now and that's not normal for me. A productive cough? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. What is that? Oh, well, uh, yeah, I brought up some, like, greenish-yellow spit stuff, yeah, but th blood, no, there wasn't any blood. Uh, no, I don't have any fever. Um, no, my me, me breathing's all right, but um, I can be a bit short of breath sometimes. Uh, no, not particularly wheezing, no. No, not that I reckon. No, I don't have any of those. No, I haven't tried to lose any weight. Um, I've always been nine stone eight, so, um, and that's not changed. Um, no. Esteban Jiménez, 15 de mayo del año 1980. Pues eh, mire, desde el pasado miércoles tengo aquí un dolor en el, en el codo, en esta parte como exterior del codo. Eh, suelo jugar al tenis y el miércoles pasado, no sé si tal vez force demasiado la máquina, pero el hecho es que me, me duele aquí en, en esta parte del codo. No, juego de forma amateur. Eh, pero me lo tomo muy en serio, me gusta mucho jugar al tenis y juego de forma regular y frecuente. Eh, de hecho, estamos ahora junto con unos amigos jugando una, una liguilla. Pues la verdad es que el dolor es casi permanente. Lo que pasa es que se agudiza más cuando, por ejemplo, intento girar la, la muñeca, el brazo, o intento coger algo, o, o intento levantar peso. Entonces se agudiza. No, desde el miércoles pasado que jugué por última vez no he vuelto a jugar, eh, intentando que así el brazo bueno, descanse, y, pero vamos, aún así el, el dolor permanece, no, no desaparece con los días. Rigidez, no noto demasiado y tampoco diría que en un momento del día determinado. Lo que sí me duele es al moverlo, es cuando lo muevo, es cuando noto el dolor, más que otro factor determinado. No, me duele el codo derecho. Diría que el dolor está bastante localizado aquí en el, en el codo derecho, nada más. No, fiebre no he tenido y el brazo tampoco se me ha dormido. El síntoma principal es el dolor, simplemente. Ah, el famoso codo de tenista. ¿Y, y es grave? Eh, ¿Puede explicar un poco más en qué consiste? Y sobre todo, ¿podré continuar jugando al tenis? Vaya, ¿y cuánto tiempo voy a estar sin jugar? Doctor, no me diga eso porque el siguiente partido es súper importante para mí y no me lo voy a perder. Ya, pero si el dolor no desaparece, ¿qué hago? ¿Cree que sería conveniente hacerme alguna otra prueba? No tengo ninguna duda. Eh, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Seguiré sus indicaciones de todas maneras y nos vemos en la próxima consulta, entonces.
Good morning, my name is Dr. Kat Wilson. I'm your designated GP. And may I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Great, David, what brought you here today? Well, I'm glad the antibiotics worked for you. Um, can you tell me in which ways you're feeling unwell these days? Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, can you tell me in a bit more details? Because from my records, I can see that you've got COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, may I ask if you've brought up any phlegm or any blood at all in the past few days? Okay, that's good that there wasn't any blood. Have you had any fever these last days? Okay, I see. Have you had any episodes of shivering or rigors? Okay, that's great. Um, what about your breathing, David? Have you observed any wheezing, any noisy breathing, or are you feeling short of breath recently? Okay, I see. Um, but is it getting worse these last few days? I see. Thanks for this, David. And do you currently have any of these symptoms? So sore throat, hoarseness of voice, sneezing and a blocked nose. Unfortunately, we not only need to know what you have, we also need to discard of any differential diagnosis. So I hope you don't mind, but we have to ask some more questions. Do you have any pain um, in the abdominal area? Do you have any diarrhea or any pain urinating or any vomiting? Thanks, David. This is the last question. Um, have you experienced any unintentional weight loss or any loss of appetite recently? Thanks for this, David. And in summary, your usual symptoms of COPD, like coughing and breathing, have gotten worse in the last few days. I believe that you've got infected exasperation of your COPD. In the majority of cases, simple antibiotics would work. So I wouldn't be too worried about that at the moment. I am going to prescribe you with some antibiotics for a total of seven days though. So um, are you allergic to any medication at all? Okay, I'm sorry to hear about that, David. Can you tell me which antibiotics in particular made you feel ill? I totally understand. And in this case, it is important to employ antibiotics to fight the infection. Now, I am going to prescribe doxycycline, which is a well-tolerating antibiotic. However, it has been known to cause photophobia and it may upset your stomach as well. Do you want us to try with this? That's great. And look, if your symptoms don't improve at all, contact us as soon as possible, okay? Take care. Yeah, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name's uh, David Jones and my date of birth is 12th of August, uh, 
Well, I, well I've not been really <coughs> feeling good for three or four days now, and not feeling myself, for, you know what I mean? Well, I've been coughing for three or four days now, and that's not normal for me. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I brought up some, like, greenish, yellow spit stuff, yeah, but blood, no, there wasn't any blood. My breathing's not bad, yeah, but I am a bit short of breath. No, not that I reckon. No, I don't have any of those. No, I haven't tried to lose any weight. Um, I've always been nine stone eight, so, um, and that's not changed. Dysuria? I don't know what that is. Um, no, no gastroenteritis though, no. Can I ask what you think I've got? Is it something I should be worried about? Right, yeah. I, I had that a couple of winters ago. Uh, do I need to take any medication for it? Uh, no, I don't have any allergies. Oh, I've got hair fever though. Um, are you prescribing me something? I don't think I've ever taken doxycycline. Um, does it have bad side effects? Can I know what these side effects are? Yeah, I completely understand that. Thanks a lot for this, Doctor. Yeah, of course, I'll contact you, yeah. So, like, if that were the case, what would happen next? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's fine for me. Um, thanks for your help, Doctor. Buenas tardes, soy el doctor Contreras, su médico de cabecera. ¿Podría indicarme, por favor, su nombre completo y fecha de nacimiento? Muy bien, a ver si puedo ayudarle. ¿Puedes describirme los síntomas?
Vaya, lo siento. Puede describir las deposiciones. Ha visto sangre en las heces. Y si tuviese que mencionar en un número, ¿cuántas veces vas al baño al día? Vaya, y durante este tiempo, ¿ha sentido fiebre? ¿Se ha sentido acalorado? ¿O quizá le han entrado temblores? Y otra cosa importante, ¿ha vomitado en algún momento?